What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow, like always, chilling. Not with your mother, but with those two little guys, Averno Atlantis. So, uh, I'm filming this on like the 21st or 22nd, 21st, but um, was it last weekend or the weekend before? Yeah, the weekend, two weeks ago, I went to a sale in Fresno, which was crazy. It wasn't even, you can't even call it a sale, it was more like a giveaway and shit. Um, my man, Big Bad Bruce, who always holds it down on all the small cons before the, you know, the shutdown, um, he would always have the 25 cent comics. Anyways, he was having a yard sale and trip on this shit. The, uh, the sale was the first 20 comics are free, free. And then they're 25 cents each after that. And then he, of course he had some dollar comics and more pricey shit too, but he had at least like six good sized boxes of, uh, free shit. So, uh, I came up a lot of it, maybe most people wouldn't want, but it's the kind of shit that I like, it's not really worth much, but shit that's interesting to me. So first off, um, I've got a big old chunk of this Zot, um, I never really heard of it before until I heard on, uh, the Kayfabe cartoonist channel talking about it, uh, Scott McCloud, they say it starts off pretty average, but then it gets good towards the, it gets a lot better at the end. So I got, um, and for free, I mean, shit, free or 25 cents, I'm gonna take them. So, uh, there's number one, there's number two, here's number three, I mean, they look fun, they don't look like, oh my god, that shit is awesome covers or anything, but it looks like there's some fun shit going on. So I'm missing number four, here's five, six, Seven. I have eight already. Here's nine. Ten. That is a pretty awesome cover, actually. And then from ten, I skip to thirteen. From thirteen to twenty. Twenty-one. And then there's a big jump from 21 to 34, 35, and I believe 36 is actually the last issue. So yeah, I got a big chunk of uh, Zot. I almost used up my whole 20, almost used up my whole 20 freebies on that. But like I said, it's all right because they're only 25 cents each after that. Uh, next, I got some uh, Scout War Shaman. There's two, I believe this is a four issue series. There's number two is Timothy Truman shit. There's three. And there's four. So I just need number one. I don't think number one's expensive. I'm sure I can find it in a bargain bin somewhere. I got some Kabuki because I've never read it, any of it before. Um, I like the art. David Mack, The Alchemy, it's number one, especially if I can find a number one and a number two, those are good jumping on, I figure that's a good jumping on to see if I like it, um, looks like a lot of uh, experimental type shit, but the art looks good, uh, then I grabbed these, just for the Clayton Crane art, as it looks like a doo-doo stain right there. I don't know what that is. But uh, Clayton Crane on the rye. I like these uh, new Valiant stuff. I'm not a big fan of the old Valiant, but the new stuff I like. And then this run filler. I'm trying to get that whole first run of EXO that started in 2012. I got like most of the early part, like the first almost 30 issues. And then I got a big gap until it like gets into the 50s or something like that. But yeah, I won't. I won't pay. I won't pay very much for those. Twenty-five cents, yeah, but not not much for those. Unless they're the um, the Carrie uh, Nord issues, those I would pay a dollar for. Got some uh, Grendel. 
Is it the war child? Um, I've heard good stuff about that book. That's a badass Simon Bisley cover. You know what I say, nobody beats the biz. Uh, then another Grendel Tales, number one of five, The Devil in Our Midst. Um, has some Paul Grist. Grist or Gerst? Paul Grist on the lead story and then uh, Matt Wagner art on the, the second story. So I figured you can't go wrong with that. I, like I said, I heard good things about War Child. So I figure I'll start looking for those. I I got so many series of Grendel that I'm going after that I can't complete any of them, but I, I find bits and pieces of all of them. Uh, then I just got this Badger. Because it got some uh, Tim Vigil art. I got Robocop, Prime Suspect number three. I've been picking these up as I see them because I'm a fan of John Paul Leon's art. Uh, he's not fully formed yet in this series, but you can still see flashes. Um, I've been finding them in order. I found the first two issues, now I found number three. I found this uh, Masks from Dynamite. It's in actually pretty good condition, considering like where I pulled it from the box, and uh, that has some nice Alex Ross art interior. Looks like a Jay Lee cover. All those characters look pretty cool to me. I got this uh, Megalith. It seems pretty fucking random, and it is, but um, man, the. the Mark Texaria interior art, man. That shit is nice. I like Tex. You know, from, he, I got turned on Tex from his Ghost Rider stuff. But this is like fully painted, looks like. So I'll, I'll look for these unless the story like really, really, really sucks. But if not, I'll pick those up just for the art. Uh, I've been curious about this for a while. I had seen it. I've seen it in bargain bins before, but never pulled the trigger on it. The Wake by Snyder and Murphy. I'm sure the art is good. Um, I haven't read anything of it yet. It's like a 10 issue series, so I figured uh, at 25 cents to free, this would be the, my best best way to try it out. I got this Mr. Monster. Um, Number five, I guess. Yeah, number five. Doc Stern, Mr. Monster. I really don't know nothing about that, but I like the way the inside art, the interior art looks, so I grabbed it. Again, 25 cents to free. I'm going to try it out. Some new stuff. Oh, I got this. I was happy I found that in there. Maxi Mortal number six. So I just need like three issues of that now. Or wait, is that an eight issue series? I probably need like four issues of that then. That's some tripped out shit, man. I read the first two issues and it's pretty, it's, the second issue especially is pretty funny. Milk and cheese, fourth number one. I just pick up milk and cheese whenever I see it. I don't know which ones I already have, which ones I don't. If that shit's a funny read to me, I always, I enjoy it, so I, I just grab them. I don't think I have that one though. I grabbed this uh, Stronium Dog. It's a four issue Muty series, whatever the hell that means. But that's the number one, so I, I just grabbed it. I like the um, I like the art. Carlos is Bar Esquera, Esquera. I grabbed this uh, Shadow Year One because I keep I keep having the, the weirdest thing, right? So I ordered the Shadow Year One on mycomicshop.com from their dollar from their dollar issues, right? And I got the blank variant, the blank cover variant. And instead of sending me the Shadow Year One number one, they sent me the Shadow Year One number three. So I, you know, I sent them a message. 
and told them what, what happened. They said, okay, fine, we'll, we'll send you the one that you ordered with your next, you know, piggybacking on your next uh, monthly order. I was like, fine, that's cool with me, no rush. So I get the next order in, they sent me number three again. So I just sent them an email last night telling them, hey, you sent me the same issue again. Um, can you just put the, just credit my account? Because I found this one, there's your one right there for 25 cents to free, you know. So I don't need that that blank cover anymore, but it still it's funny that they sent me the wrong one again. I got two issues, blank variant cover of number three <laughs> for whatever that shit is worth. Uh, I found this. Samurai number 13. That's a Dale Keown art. And then I found this uh, Dragon Ring number 6. I think that's volume 1. But I'm not sure. That drag, this uh, samurai, I already have it, but I just grabbed it because I like that um, Del Kion shit. So I don't know, I'll probably give it to my buddy. Then I got this uh, darker image, number one, still poly bagged. Looks in pretty good shape. I might have this, but it's all fucked up, so why the hell not? This is Run Filler Dragon. I'm trying to do the... I think I'm going to do the first hundred... Hundred so issues of Dragon. Those are always a fun read. So that's number 37. Again, this is Run Filler. This... I made a mistake. But 25 cents to free. No big deal, right? I was like, Ashley Wood... Uh, those are the only two names I see on the t on the cover on the on the cover, so I figure can't go wrong with that, right? But there's only a little bit of art. I mean, there's a couple cool pictures, but for the most part, it's all just pearls, I guess you call that. Oh well. What's that say? A posse ad essay. I didn't know Ashley would spoke Spanish. All right, so that was it for my twenty-five cent to free books. Um, I think I got like. Five dollars worth of uh, twenty-five cent books. After I got my free twenty issues, so these are the dollar books that I bought. Some of these I probably wouldn't have paid a dollar for, but I felt like, hey, you know what? The dude hooked me up, like, so I'm I'll buy a little. So I might buy a couple books I wouldn't normally buy for a dollar, but I mean, a dollar's still not bad ever, really. Captain America and the Falcon. Bart Sears is a guilty pleasure for me. I'm going to try and get the rest of those. The first, I think he does the first four issues. That first storyline. Um, EPRD. Killing Ground. Mike McNola writing. Um, I'm pretty sure my man Guy Davis does art. So that's, that's cool with me. Uh, again, I'm a fan of Richard Corbin. So I just grabbed that. Have no idea what it's about. Son of Mutant World. Fuck it, it's Richard Corbin. Like, I don't know if, if any, you've been watching my videos lately. Uh, you, you know I've been on a vigilante kick. And here's uh, vigilante number two. Um, Bruce Jones and Ben Oliver. Ben Oliver I'm a big fan of. Here's vigilante number three. I believe that's the second series. Looks like Dustin Gwynn. Who I'm also a fan of. And then this is, uh, I think this is volume four. And this is uh, number eight. Rick Leonardi art. 
looks pretty cool. Number nine. And then I got uh, this Bane Conquest number nine. Um, yes, very fucking random. But there's a like a three issue arc of Detective Comics that has this guy in it, uh, Gunhawk, I believe is his name. And it's actually drawn by the same guy, by Grant Nolan, so that's why I picked it up. I really like that three issue arc. Um, I don't know. I might, if it's good, I might try and get the rest of the, of the issues because I like his art. It doesn't look as good without the Bill Sin, uh, Ill Bill Sinkevich inks over it, but it's still not bad. I got this Lobo Blazing Chain of Love. I, I'm a big Lobo fan. Um, nobody, like I always say about Simon Bisley, nobody beats the Biz, but uh, Dennis Cohen does a pretty damn good uh, Lobo. It looks almost like the Biz pen and ink stuff, but not quite. It's still pretty good though, and, and I like Dennis Cohen too. So uh, I got this. Batman Incorporated number three um, I have a I had a couple issues of Batman that had the Matches Malone story and uh, so I said I see Matches Malone and I was like oh okay I'm, I'm in I'll check it out and also I like uh, Chris Burnham's art and then uh, Batman Incorporated number eight the R.I.P. storyline um I just grabbed it, man. Like I said, I like Chris Burnham's art and his Batman. Why the fuck not, right? I gotta keep track of now what Batman Incorporated issues I have so I can I don't buy the same one more than once. So that was it for the comics that I bought. But the guy also had uh, he was giving away movies. And I've been adding some VHS to my collection. So the movies were the first 10 were free, and then after that they were 25 cents each. I didn't find 10, so they were just free. I fucking love that movie, man. Mostly for the good memories. Actually, when I was uh, I was in junior high when that movie came out, and we were visiting my mom in uh, I think she lived in San Jose at the time, and we went to the movie theater to watch this movie. And we actually, we saw uh, Belle Biv DeVoe, all three of them together at the movie theater. And uh, my sister-in-law, uh, may she rest in peace, um, my sister-in-law Josie, she went and got their autograph on, on our movie tickets. I wonder if, that ticket is probably still around somewhere, but anyway, it's just a funny story. They were, uh, they were doing a concert at Great America the next day or some shit. That's why they were in town. But yeah, fucking poison. Bell be able to vote. But anyways, that's still regardless. I mean, that's a that's an awesome movie. If you've ever seen it, you know, check it out. As far as Dolph Lundgren movies go, you know, they don't get much better than that. Out of Star Wars, why not? I think it's some. It should be like an original cut, not with any of that added in bullshit. Mad Max. I think I already have this on VHS. It's the Road Warriors that I need, but it's still in the plastic, so I figure it's good. I hope that none of these fuck my VCR up. Mad Max Thunderdome. So again, still missing the Road Warriors. I couldn't believe this one. Like, this one was right there on top, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Why? I would think this would be one of the first ones to go. The Warriors. I already have the wires, but mine it fucks up at the end, so I'm hoping maybe this one is, doesn't. Blade Runner, the director's cut. Love Blade Runner. My man Elvis. Probably not the greatest movie, but. Fuck it, it's Elvis, right? And the great Flesh Gordon. That's some pretty cool uh, cover art. But anyways, so that was it. That was the giveaway slash sale. Um, I'm gonna. I got some other stuff while I was in town, but I'll show that in another video because this was getting too long. Um. Thank you everybody for watching. 
uh, hit me in the like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Hit me in the comments if you see anything that you've read or you like or maybe something that sucks or whatever, man. Just I, I always enjoy the interaction. And that's about it. Uh, again, thanks for watching. And like I always say, get off of YouTube, read some fucking comics.